So the songwriter of this song faced the biggest tragedy when he lost his wife and his children. And tears running down his eyes, you know, he could not understand what had transpired. And he started, he started off writing, when peace, like a river, it is well, it is well. So, hello, uh, this is Moses Kipkosge, and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to get here, I'm going to get here, I'm going to get here, what do you want to do? My name is Eric Sereti, I'm a daughter of Kenya, I'm a daughter of Kenya, I'm a daughter of Kenya, Niliamia huku nikiwa 14 nimezaekea huku unaona hata ndevu tuko nazo So uh, yeah huyu rafiki yangu tumejoana miaka 4 miaka 4 yeah. miaka 4 yeah. yeah so nashukuru kwa kwenye hii kipindi cha YouTube Moses Kip Cosplay So okay so Eric unajua most people would wonder. You came here when you were 14 years, right? Mm. That's a long time. Okay, first, when did you f go back home? When was the last time you went home? <laughs> the day I took the flight to here, I've never taken another flight to home. What, what year was that? 2005. 2005. So Been how many years now? 16 years. 16 good years. In good years. But you came when you at scared to look for your cases, KCP. Ah, class eight KCP, Sukufanya and Iliapuka, Iliko Yomoka, KCP. I mean, so how was life then when you got here? Anyway? Life was cheap. Life was cheap. Um, everything was cheap. Um, I didn't come to Alberta. I, I, did, I started off in Ontario, Toronto. Um, and I and I went to school there, a boarding school. Yes, a boarding school in Canada. Uh, for boarding school? Oh, yes. Really? We had boarding school. Uh, it was very posh. It was very okay. posh. There was uh, showers. It was heated, you know. Wow. It was nice. It was nice. We had a cafeteria that gave us good food. Yeah. Even though it was Adventist and uh, we ate a lot of vegetarian food. Okay. But it was good food. Okay. Better than here in Alaska, Skuma Nagider. <laughs> so uh other than that so how has life been i mean since you graduated high school and i i guess you started working when you were 16 years so how has life changed since then you know like um when you get here the the first thing you, um as a as a young man you want to um to help out right because coming from home you've seen the struggle you've seen everything and you get here and your responsibility is just that you know like once you have a job your responsibility start my responsibility was to buy milk yes wow. <laughs> milk for breakfast that was my responsibility and then from there it just got better and um, slowly but surely like life has, has changed that way to the point now um i'm so used to buying milk that it's it's a no-brainer yes. you know so what you're saying here when people get here usually you know, people imagine, for me, basically, I imagine, like, I'm going to a place where it's going to be, it's all about making money. It's all about uh, supporting your family back home. I mean, how, how did you manage to, like, do you still support family back home or what do you do, basically? Like? That's a very good question. For me, um... I can never understand uh, that responsibility of supporting family back home because all my family came. My dad was here, my mom is in the States, and so all me and my siblings, we all came here. So um, it, was, it was easier that way to, to establish here. Um, but there's a lot of expectations, especially people who are coming from home here, that they, they will have three, four jobs. And you know, um, when you come and you start making the dollar, 
it's it's nice you want to now spoil yourself buy yourself good things but then you have all these responsibilities back home um and you know like one thing that i can say that we need to start teaching the people coming from home is money management because once you have money management you can tap into savings you can tap into investments where money makes works for you right so then like you you are able to support yourself here be comfortable and not kill yourself doing three four jobs speaking of money i remember when i got here uh they gave me a credit card so i didn't know i thought that was free money hmm. so i got, i took the credit card and kept so, and then i moved to us but i was swiping the credit card i didn't know i have to pay the money back no like i didn't read they usually come with a piece of fine print right yeah telling you there's a 29% interest so i kept and these people kept calling me i said why are they calling me i thought it's free money oh yeah so i came here after 4 years and i had to pay back $2000 it wasn't that bad i mean mm. i paid it back so because again we were funny strange like the kama mimi mimi nimefanya kazi ya nini ah ile mbovu kabisa ninasema nimefanya sidhani hakuna it's just chunga wazee maybe nimefanya moja ah uh, hiyo sio mbaya i mean it's kazi we got paid ni kazi kazi da kazi ni kazi huko you don't uh, so and um mafaras mafaras pale eh ni nyingine ah kuosha cho yeah i pa pa kwa mimi najua people it's not that bad though kuosha cho ina Uh, I mean, I mean. Basi si si cho. Si si safi. Ukifungu kiosha cho kwa oil field. Oh, okay. Kama mjasikia oil field mali wana mine oil. Huko huko ai siji siji ya watu wanakulanga nini? Yeah. Eh? Kila break unaenda huko ndani unapata yani ni kama ni, ni tornado ilikuja ama <laughs> there was an explosion in there. I don't know. So and uh, so the other thing is uh, I mean, do you experience racism vitu kama hivyo unajua? Unajua? Since you came young, did mm. you experience it and how did you take it? Um uh, si uh, najua racism yeah. uh, il, ilikuwa nini? Yeah. Uh, I think it's because like when you were when you were kwa ndogo, you were still young and I, I, I was still young so like when I came here um people always make jokes black jokes yeah. but i never I, i never really got them oh, okay right so um they will call me names but to me it was you like I, 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 i didn't catch it so i um, cuz i didn't grow up knowing what oh, racism. racism is what um cuz like when i was back home it was it was all like you see the same color yeah. right the, the, the only differences was our tribes yeah but here like there's there's white there's black there's you know First Nations is all that and, and especially here in Canada it's not as much yeah. but it is there. Yeah. You know, or it's just under the it's table. It's kind of silent. Right? Yeah, it 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 is a silent racism. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that like um, what would you say to somebody maybe anajaribu kuja hapa? Most lot wanakuja kama wanafunzi, sivyo? Uh, oh, yeah. So but what like what would you tell them? What what I can say from uh, my experience uh working two three jobs yeah. <laughs> taxes <laughs> taxes are going to get you like yeah. well you have person the job that you do the extra job that you do yeah. it's is going to taxes right um or uh, all i can say is if you come here with with a mentality to to hustle come and hustle this is a very good uh country to come and hustle this is a um, it is good to, to start to start a business hata kama uko na 10 bob kwa account it's always good to have that dream and that vision um always be prepared to uh, to jump out to jump out of your comfort zone because what this will, what this place will do they're going to challenge you even at work they're going to push you um you're going to be frustrated but if you if you if you remain positive you um you'll be good you'll be good yeah and things are like, things go like fast kila kitu ni fast pace so yeah. maisha yani you cannot imagine how much you do like mwaka una like nikiwa Kenya mwaka it feels like 
one year feels like ten years, ten years. Well, but when you get here, things like go really fast, really fast, really fast. I mean, it's 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 a it's it's crazy. And then, so with that, I'm gonna say this. Uh, it's my first interview. I mean, yes, it is my first interview. But uh, the thing is, I'll try and give you some hints on how to get here to some of the people. Oh, look, we under the parents, right? Permanent yes. residents. But uh, there are opportunities. Come on, utaka kuja kama mwanafunzi, utakuja. Like, I think that's the most easy way to come here. And uh, in my next video, nitajaribu uh, kukupea links on how to get here. And kupea, I mean, I'll help you. I'll guide you if I can and give you some tips. Najua. And then we'll see how it goes. So... Thanks. It's been a short segment, but ndio mwanzo tu. That's what we say. So subscribe naitwa Moses. Alafu mimi na Eric tunaanzisha channel nyingine. Ken Khan. Ken Khan. Ebu ambi vile itakuwa. Ken Khan itakuwa about motivation, about music, about uh, just having talks as um, as as young people and how we can enhance ourselves and move forward. Alafu pia kutakuwa Ken Can Kids yenye itakuwa saa ya watoto ya kuentertain watoto uh, kuonyesha watoto venye wanaweza koma hapa uh, michezo and, and so many things that are coming and uh, ad, and then kutakuwa na Ken Can Adventures yenye itakuwa about milima camping uh, stay tuned kuna wanyama wengi kuna bears kuna cougars kuna mountain goats zote zote I mean, all real life experience. So, with that, thank you very much. Subscribe, share. I know it's a long video, but you know what? It's worth it. Ashkur san. Vip. You just love me and the better I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you saw that I melted. I 